Today we're going to be looking at three mods, one old one and two brand new ones, all from the same guy. Zoxides, Tree Anywhere, Park Bench and Pedestrian Paths. Now each of these mods on its own is a great mod, but used with a little imagination, these mods can transform a pretty ordinary city into a real work of art. Okay, first up, Tree Anywhere. And if ever there was a mod that did what it says on the tin, this is it. This allows you to place individual trees literally anywhere you want. Now let's say I wanted to place a row of trees in between these two roads. If I use the normal plant forest tool, I don't get anything at all. In fact, I, I can get some trees, but they're not even close. Now Tree Anywhere adds four new tree options to the palette. And I'm going to pick the pleasant tree and I'm going to place a nice evenly spaced row of trees in between these two roads. And you have absolute control with this mod. You can place as many as you want, as few as you want, and you can place them exactly where you want them placed. And when you want to get rid of them, you use the bulldoze tool. I think this mod is an absolute must have for any serious city builder. Next up, Park Bench, and you'll find this on the Basic Parks palette, next to the Blacktop Park. And it's just a simple double bench. Now some people may dismiss this and say, well, it's just a bench, big deal. But I think this heralds in an era of component mods, where we get the little bits and pieces that allow us to build bigger, unique, more complex things. I, I love this. I love the direction it's going. Let's pop a couple of these in. And you can pop them on either side of the road. And right now, it's just a simple bench. But I think you'll find that uh, over the next few weeks, we're going to be getting all kinds of benches and all kinds of other things. We'll get double-sided benches, metal benches, uh, white benches, blue benches... I'm really looking forward to this because it creates endless possibilities. Last but not least, it's the pedestrian park. Now you'll find these conveniently located as the first item on each one of the park palettes. Now you may think that this is just a new texture, but you'd be wrong. There's a lot more going on with this mod. Let's put one in and take a look. As you can see, it's got this nice sidewalk texture, and it has these quite ornate lampposts added, which I think are a really nice touch. But it's not the looks that make this path special. It's the fact that it carries services. Electricity, water, and sewage. And not only does that mean that these little lampposts light up at night, but it means that if you plop anything else on here, like a park, that's also going to get power and water and visitors. And that makes this path sweet. But I will just mention, you are limited to parks, you can't zone RCI on here, and you can't plot buildings like police stations or airports on here. So we've got three mods, all individually brilliant. But what happens when you bring them together? Well, they solve a problem that we've had since day one. How do you do something attractive with these misshapen areas that sometimes form inside roads? All the parks are either square or rectangular. So let's say I wanted to make this into a park. Let's try a medium field. Nope, too big. What about a small park? It fits, but it kind of looks dreadful. Let's see what we can do with a combination of Tree Anywhere, Park Bench and Pedestrian Paths. Add a few paths. Add a few benches. Finish it off with a few trees. 
and before you know it, you've created a perfect little park for your sims to relax in. Looks a little bit better, doesn't it? You know, I actually think it's even prettier at night. It's not surprising that people want to live here. And of course you're not limited to straight lines. Ovals. Circles. If you can think of a shape, you can build a park in it. These mods put us in a situation where we really are only limited by our imaginations. Okay, while we're all here, I thought I'd throw a couple of tips your way, which uh, can be pretty damn useful when you're creating these types of parks. Now, the first tip is to do with plot points, and it's on the pedestrian paths. Now, these pedestrian paths don't actually give you a lot of plot points. You only get plot points, like, right in the middle. You don't get any near intersections. Let me show you with a, with a bench. You can see you've only got very few here. You don't get any at the ends. Now, if you put an intersection in the middle, like there, and then you check the plot points, you'll find you don't have any at all. <laughs> and so you can't put any benches on here. So, the tip is, if you want to put benches onto a stretch of pedestrian path, put the benches on before you put any intersections in. So, let's put in a couple of benches now. One at this end, and one at that end. And then we take a pedestrian path, and then we put in the intersection. And bingo, we've got both our intersection and our little benches. Okay, the second tip is all about space, because you're probably going to be working with some fairly small areas. So any space saving tips are really good. And this one's about circles. If you're drawing circles with the pedestrian path, don't use the circle tool because it draws the circles way too big. Let me demonstrate. Let's, um, let's put in the smallest circle that we can possibly put in with the circle tool. Okay, now, now let me give you an idea of scale. If I put in, uh, let's put in a barbecue pavilion, um, like over here, so that you can, you can see the size of this thing. Right, it's, it's about the size of, of one of these. Okay, now if you use the arc tool instead, you can get much, much tinier little circles. What you do is go out to one side, then bring it back in till it forms a circle, and then just shrink it down, and you can get these things tiny, and then maybe hook them up to something else. <laughs> You've got to admit, like, that is, uh, I think, a pretty good space saving tip. Okay, it's that time again. Now, what can I say about these mods? Now, perhaps I'm biased because I love all of these little details. I love creating these little parks. I like putting little park benches in and lampposts and positioning all of these things. That's what gets me going. So for me, no-brainer, 5 out of 5 across the board. Zoxide, love them. And I hope we're going to see more of this kind of mod coming out. I'd love this type of mod. So if you're looking for modding suggestions, this is the kind of stuff we want to see. You know, we want to see new textures. We want to see new items. You know, take a bench and turn it into a metal bench or, or even just like paint it white or something. You know, get creative and create things that allow us to be creative. That's what the game's about. And for God's sake, stop making mods that just make things free. Because, the, 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 come on. Hello, sandbox mode. You know, those mods don't help anyone. Okay? Get creative, guys. Okay, that's it. End of lecture. Hope you had fun with this. Catch you next time. Peace out.